So, uh, why don't you start off by telling me why you're here today? Uh, well, we're out, uh, kind of promoting our record, Neurotic Outsiders. You got a new new record out? Yeah. So why, why do you come to Howard Show? I guess we were invited. You are invited? <laughs> what is what is appearing on Howard Show do for you guys? Uh, well, that's a good laugh. I mean, I'm, I remember a long time ago, Howard was one of the first guys to put uh, me and Slash on a show. It was, you know, it was, it was fun? Yeah, it was cool. And then I came back, and then now Steve and I and John Taylor and Matt from Guns have a band, and, and the album's coming out in a month, and first thing was we were asked to come on the show. Oh, that's great. So, I mean, Howard's always been a big fan of you guys, so you guys all, do you guys like him also? Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a thing that goes back about 10 years. Yeah, it goes back a while. A nine years or something, yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it a tough interview in there with Howard? I mean, is, he has a lot of hard questions a lot of times. Does it make you nervous? No. No? It doesn't, I, I get a, I know. It doesn't. I think because maybe, I don't know. I know, maybe I know, I've known him. No, it was good. But no, no, it was good. <laughs> All right, let's get Duff McKagan in here. Duff uh, used to be in the group Guns N' Roses. Actually, he's still in it, I guess. But if there is one. Yeah, but he put out a new uh, album Hi. Hi, with his How new group, doing? Neurotic Hi. Outsiders. And they're playing Who's September that? 5th at West Webster Hall in New York. And it's good. Whoa. Hey, man. He just passed Leslie, our intern, and said hi. He goes, Who's that? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Wait, it doesn't even look like you, man. I know, doesn't he look it great? Doesn't, you look great, man. Hey. It doesn't even look like you. <laughs> hey, you're all like you're all muscular and stuff. All cleaned up? Yeah. Hey, How you doing? You still married? No. Oh, really? Because oh. your wife was a hot little piece of ass. <laughs> what happened, <laughs> what happened there? there? No wonder you look good. No wonder you look good. Well, you know. Yeah. Because uh, remember that when Duff was all strung out and everything? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, you were messed up for a while, I, right? I think last time I was here, I said, man... I've stopped drinking. I've stopped it, right? <laughs> yeah, you stopped for like I five minutes. I think when he walked in, he stopped. Yeah, and you had a beer in your <laughs> yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you stopped because we didn't have any alcohol. <laughs> but that's cool. I mean, listen, you were like, you know, you you were doing the rock and roll lifestyle thing. Yeah. You know, everyone goes through it. There's a lot going on then, you know. I got a great tape of Duff. This is really oh, cool. God. Come on, let me play the tape. Wait, wait. This <laughs> is really good. It's stellar. This is so you can remember the old Duff. Because, you know, you, you right. meet you the new... You probably didn't know this guy. <laughs> yeah. The old Duff used to... Um, he called every once in a while. He called every once in a while. One time, Duff was doing an appearance when, uh, I don't know, it was some Guns N' Roses thing or whatever. You were yeah. promoting something. And Duff was making an appearance on some syndicated show. Uh -huh. And the address of the building was like 666. You know, six. yeah, yeah, like six, 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 and six. Yeah, and I don't know. Duff was supposed to meet Baba Booey down there for some reason. I don't know, even remember what it was. But so Duff picks up the phone, and <laughs> <laughs> this is Duff. This is Duff in the old days. So you can see the difference how this guy's gotten his life together. Hold on. Hey Gary, uh, this is Duff calling. I got your message. It's twelve thirty or something. Uh, it's quarter of one. I don't know. <laughs> Good afternoon, you're on whatever the f*** day is. Uh, what, what is today? Wednesday. Uh, okay. We gotta go to the offices of that metal shop place or some s***. <laughs> um, it's on 6th Avenue, I think. It's like 666, 6th Avenue. So it's Satan, 6th Avenue. Satan. Um, Last night after dinner at 1.30. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, try to reach the stair, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right, then. <laughs> makes you want to drink. Wow. You know what I mean? It makes you, it makes you thirsty, that wow. tape. Wow. God damn, I wonder what you were on that day. Wow. Jeez. But look at you now, man. I mean, hey, your hair looks cool. I mean, you, you, what, you whip yourself into shape? What are you, weightlifting or something? No, I ain't weightlifting. No. Really? How do, you, how do you do it, man? Seriously, how do you get in that kind of shape? What do you do, just hang out? Um, no, nah, I've been kickboxing. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. Man, I'm going to get into that. <laughs> Except I pull my groin every time every I drive. Every time. Yeah, me too. Don't lift your leg. Did you pull your groin? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's bad. Really? It? Yeah. Everybody does it then. Everybody wow. thinks you can do kickboxing. Like, I was into karate for like a year. And I messed my groin up so bad that I couldn't walk for about a year. I mean, without my balls hurting. Yeah. Right? I was there, man. Yeah. Completely. D and Did you keep going, though, through the pain? Yeah. 
Yeah. See, that's the part Howard <laughs> yeah. hasn't gotten down. Let me tell you something. It was no fun, though. Like, like we would just walk out on the street, and I was just like, oh. oh. <laughs> so how did you uh, get by that? I mean, you just kept doing it? Well, uh, my sensei. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that weird how you got to call a guy sensei? Well, <laughs> that, <laughs> you know actually, I mean? this guy's not weird because he, right. uh, he's undefeated for 20 years. Right. And I, I, I actually lucked out when I found him, Benny the Jet. Right. And, uh, yeah, I didn't train with him. Yeah. Yeah. So but, there's no choice, you know. It's real weird. He in the, doesn't care about your pain. No, absolutely <laughs> No, it's real weird in the karate world. Like, you got to call these guys sensei. sensei yes. You know, and it's kind of weird because you realize it's just some dude. And you're supposed to bow to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And at the end of the session, you got to bow to him and stuff. It's like, dude, I guess you don't make that much money, so you get into a little power trip. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you get, this whole thing. Yeah, you get, you, get, you get a major player in the rock and roll world bowing to you. Get a storefront in a mall and make everybody bow. Yeah, and you got to be like, yes, sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Us. Us, sensei. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, that's how you got in shape? Yeah. And that works. And then what do you do? You diet or something? No. You don't do not that. anymore. You eat whatever you want, right? Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely. can't see a rock and roll guy not eating whatever he wants. And his body's great. I got to hug him out there. Yeah. He feels real wow. good. He's Duff, hard. <laughs> you didn't, wow. You didn't hug me. Wow. So, you having lots of sex and everything still? Well, you know. Right. <laughs> what happened? How'd you get rid of that wife? The wife was cute. I mean, major league piece of ass, but you married her when you were all drugged well, out. Well, okay, that tape, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you didn't know what That's you were what doing. That's what got you married. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I couldn't imagine why you were getting married. You well, know what I mean? Cause why, like, did, why didn't you say something? I did. Did you? Yeah, but you wouldn't remember. Uh, I said, what are you getting married? I said, dude, you got it made. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I, yeah. Did you I, sign a prenup before you got married? Yeah. No. Oh, you did. Yeah. He wasn't that hot. Yeah, <laughs> you know. No drug that strong. <laughs> no drug that strong. I might have been drunk, but I wasn't stupid. Right. Yeah. Oh, good. So how long did it last? It lasted a while. It lasted three, three, three years. Yeah, it lasted longer than I thought it would. Well, after I kind of came out of it, yeah. I went, oh, I should at least try to make this work. Right. Hey, know? get closer to that microphone, Duff. I can All barely right. hear you. you know? I should at least try to make this work. Right. You know? Yeah, because give it a chance. Well, and plus that admits that you were, like, that screwed up. Right. Yeah, so. it, yeah. It's like just, you, you want to say at least when I chose a woman, I was a little bit sensible. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know. the relationship lasted longer than Guns N' Roses, actually. <laughs> when you think about it. <laughs> you know, I saw Slash the other day, and I was saying to him, "What the hell's going on?" You know, I mean, wh where's where's the next Guns N' Roses album? And like, he didn't have an answer either. He was what? like, "I'm working on some things. I got some surprises," and you know, I was just like, hey, "Shut up! Come here. <laughs> what are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's going on?" We're, we're in the st we're. In writing new songs. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and Axel's into it? Yeah, totally. And actually, today I was going to have to fly back right after this. Oh, really? We're going to start recording uh, for this Jackie Chan movie, the next one. Oh, I see. Good uh, Lord, Jackie Chan is making more movies. Yeah, could somebody well, explain uh, Jackie Chan to me? Does anybody recognize that this guy is a stuntman? He's stunt going to make 50 billion movies before anybody gets it. You know what an insult that is to anybody who trains in <laughs> acting? I mean, seriously, Jackie Chan is happening? Axel's a huge fan of Jackie and Chan. And everybody's recording songs for him. I know. <laughs> Screw Jackie Chan. But, you know, so I think the time off, I mean, as frustrated as some of us might have got. Right. Me included, you know? Right. Um, I think it. There was a reason for it. Because, it was a good thing. Yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> yeah. Didn't, it didn't seem like it. Well, <laughs> everyone got cleaned up. I mean, uh, Slash. I, I can't tell if Slash is, is cleaned up. Is he clean? Up. I don't know. I don't know. I thought he was hitting the sauce that day, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't tell. Well, Slash is, is Slash. Yeah. You know? Right. And I mean, he's like made out of iron. Did you go into like rehab? I mean, you're no. major league recovered. I mean, no. you're like you did it all on your own. Yeah. Like what happened? Like one what, day you just you quit? Yeah, was it like something happened? Yeah. What, what? you got? Mm. Ulcer? No. OD? Worse. What? Uh, actually, my, my pancreas blew up. It did? Yeah. I d I've had that. Pancreatitis? Pancreatitis? No, 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 I never had that. Yeah. I was just trying to relate to you. So, so your pancreas blew up? Yeah. Do you need a pancreas? Yeah. Isn't that yeah, one of those, yeah, isn't that one of those organs that, isn't that like tonsils? No, no. no? You don't want to lose your pancreas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who needs a pancreas? <laughs> <laughs> so, See, from drinking or what? From like other so stuff? Yeah, drinking. I mean, it's the, right. you know, it's just a c continuous. Yeah, I mean, you're a young man and you should, your pancreas should yeah, be a good shape. Yeah, it should last your whole lifetime. So it freaked you out, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, see, you know, I, I was in so much pain, they shot me up with two shots of Demerol and morphine, and then morphine, and I was still just completely doubled over. Whoa. And then seeing the doctor's faces turn white once they did the uh, they, ultrasound. Yeah. Like, how is this guy still? Alive. Yeah. Whoa. You mean it was that bad? Yeah. You mean just drinking can mess your pancreas up? Yeah. 
Whoa, but you must have been drinking quarts and quarts a day, right? Well, oh. He was he was a professional. You, you know what, man? You know what? You're the real deal. You're a real rock and roller. See, I, I respect that. At least I, you know, I've been there. I know what it's like. Yeah, you, you know? didn't have a cocktail. I mean, you just you would you would. Uh -uh. Yeah. He didn't even yeah. mix it. You didn't mix it. It was straight from the bottle. Like, what did you like to drink? Do you miss drinking? You must miss it. To no, I don't at all. Really? Yeah, because I think that and 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 being in, you know. Just that something happened. Right. I mean, I guess I'm lucky it happened. Because right. Because I don't even miss it at all. And now your pancreas is okay? Yeah. Can you smoke weed and stuff? Or do you. Have... <laughs> no? No, I, don't, I never <laughs> smoked weed anyhow. That oh, you like didn't? too mellow hippie. Yeah, know? right. No, forget it's... weed. Yeah. <laughs> That's no good. He needed an edge. But you can't even, like, shoot heroin or anything anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, like, you can't, you got, you're off everything? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. Wow. You know? How long do you think this will last? <laughs> Forever? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, you seem really yeah, together, you know? Am, it's kind yeah. of freaky talking to you, like, this is the real you. <laughs> I was this wondering is... what you would think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, man. I'm not sure I know you. I'm not even sure you're Duff. Yeah. <laughs> How do I know this is him? So anyhow, so when we... You didn't find we... Jesus or anything, no, did you? Oh, no, good. No. Oh, Christ. Let's no. right out of here. I just kind of <laughs> sorted myself out, man. Really? You know? Yeah, I mean, there was a, the band got huge, and there was no time to, to like, figure out, that, you know, there's no book for, like, Coming, I mean, you remember when Slash and I first came here? We, yeah. were, we were broke and right. You know, yeah. You guys were like, you guys were. It was a band just starting, starting out, yeah. right? And it just, you know, that went. It skipped these levels so quick, right? And it's pretty difficult to handle. Although I think I could handle it. Well, I don't understand the drinking. You know, well, these guys. You're very but these guys. These guys were drinking before they became yeah. huge. Yeah. So, so the just problems, because you can get it all the time, yeah. you can drink so it. So now all. all of a sudden you're rich and you can afford to drink whatever you want. It's like you're like a kid in a toy store. Well, I mean, kinda, you know. You deal with the, the surrealness of the whole thing. Uh, right. So, yeah. Wow. Oh, I see. All and right. then once you're on top, you're going. Wait a second. We're not doing anything different than we did before. Now we're on top. How do we maintain this? Even though you, you're you're rock star and all that, you don't think you, you, you and you're drunk. You know everything. what I think he's saying, though? I what? think, you know, like, all of a sudden they became this big business. Right. And everybody's at them. You have to drink to sort of deal with that. <laughs> I think they were just drinking to deal with, just to drink. <laughs> just to, you know, like, have well. all those people at you. So what would you, like, would you start drinking early in the morning? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they ever stopped. I mean, really? we talked to him oh, yeah, sure. early like in the morning, yeah. late in the afternoon. He was always drunk. Yeah. yeah. What would you drink, though? Do you, do you, Vodka. Vodka? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Uh, I drink that. Oh, stop it, Howard. <laughs> My pancreas is fine. I'm a uh, real man. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't even know what vodka like was. How many like. bottles could you go through? Uh, I went through a lot. Howard. Really? Man, I went through, like, yeah. Really? God, I can't believe how different you look. You yeah. look chiseled and everything, man. Hey. Come here, sit in my lap. Ah. <laughs> yeah, just kidding, man, okay? All right. Duff McKagan has put together a new group. He's not going to sit around and wait for Guns N' Roses the rest of his life. I mean, if it happens, it happens. You know, he's into it. That's his main concern. And but... it's actually happening now. Right. It's a general air of excitement. But so in the meantime, I mean, the, the, the first year I got myself together, and then there was an opportunity. Um, Steve Jones from the Pistols, who's right. an idol Pistols. of mine. Right. Uh, who, I mean, I... You I, idolize him, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. No, you were right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, you were right. Yeah. Um, I think I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. I I met him riding mountain bikes. Actually, that's how we became friends. Riding mountain bikes together, which right. was great because I completely emulate his guitar style, and I'm glad we didn't meet through playing. Right. So. Uh, you guys were riding mountain bikes and ran into each other. Well, we we met at an Aerosmith gig. Right. And we were talking and. And you said, "Hey, let's go mountain biking." Well, I was up. Uh, up the next day, I was gonna in a race. Right. And he said, "Really, I ride and blah blah blah." So we started riding together. Right. And uh, the mat. I tried mountain biking for a while, yeah. and then I would always get bloody because I would get on there and I would flip over the handlebars, and that would be the end of it. <laughs> That's a big clutch. Well, we were riding with. And I go, "Oh, there's sand. I'm gonna get caught on the bike. I don't know." We were riding with some pretty pretty heavy guys, some pros, Dave yeah. Cullen and some guys. Yeah, I could imagine you guys really do it. Yeah. yeah I go out and do it, and I just like, end up walking the bike. I end up walking alongside <laughs> the bike. People have yeah. to bring him home. Hey, I don't want to get hurt. So, anyhow, Matt, Matt Soren from Guns got this call from Sal from the Viper Room to do this benefit for this guy who did cancer, put a band together. Right. So he called Steve and John Taylor to play bass and right. me, me to play guitar. Right. And it was kind of a godsend. We got together. It's like a super group. Well, we're, in a sense. we were just friends, you know. Right, right. After the fact, people started going, oh, you guys realize you're like this. Yeah, it's really good like music. That. So Jonesy's here, by the way. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, tell him to come in. Jonesy. What drugs are he off? Or is he okay? Yeah. We gotta get we gotta get some rock star in here who's high. <laughs> I'm getting sick of all these straight rock stars. You know, all the new guys. Hey, how come I can't uh, how come I can't cut my hair like yours? 
Why can't I cut Why, my hair you like? You could cut your hair like his. How you bad would I look? I just don't have a good face. I think you look good with that short hair. You do think so? In those uh, wigs you were wearing. Really? Wow. Hey, here's a legend. Steve Jones. Hey, Steve. How you doing? Oh, hi, good seeing you. Yeah, everyone's got the tattoos and the whole goddamn look. And so when it comes to a uh, song like, uh, like the first song or, 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 the, or the single "Jerk," which used to be called. Yeah, was that about me? Uh, <laughs> it used to be called C U N C. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Steve, mellow out, will you, man? Well, that's, that's what it was called. All right, but yeah, you know, I got a, I got a radio job to keep. I'm, I don't have a band. I all right. Say nice word. opening, Steve. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> 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 You guys are tough guys, man. I couldn't hang with you. I'd be like a woman next to you. <laughs> what is this sub song about, jerk? Who is the jerk? Is this about the guy you kicked out of Guns N' Roses? Oh, dear. <laughs> there you go, right? Am I right? I, I wrote it. I you wrote, wrote that? Yeah, a while ago. Where are you from, England? Yeah. Oh, that's what I figured. <laughs> How'd you guess, Howard? <laughs> the accent kind of gave it away. <laughs> Some guys are American. They try to talk like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'd be yeah, cool. Green Day. Right, yeah, Green Day. <laughs> right, Steve? Yes. <laughs> so you wrote that. What is it? Who is a jerk? It's, well, actually, it was called what I told you before. Right, right. It's something we can't say. Right? And it's about, it was about woman vagina. It's about audible. You have to go for to get some to get some, some vagina to get some vagina. It's a, it's a, you feel like a jerk when you're trying to get it, don't you? Is that what you're saying? That the man feels like a jerk when he's trying to get a woman's vagina. Well, you have to put up with a lot of crap, like, crap to get yeah. it. Boy, I yeah. swear to God, I was saying that yesterday. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just saying that because you're here. Just to get it, you know, especially when there's somebody new, right? I was telling some young punk this. I said, just to get a little. A woman acts like, oh my God, she's giving away gold. You, you understand what I'm saying? You feel like a, and you feel like a jerk begging her for it. Yeah. You know, just give it to me. If you want to give it to me, give it to me. If you don't, just get me the hell out of the room, God damn it. Is that what this song's about? Yeah. Boy, I admire you. <laughs> I love it. I will buy the album then. Because that's... that's <laughs> you this. can relate. I can't take... You know, listen, my penis is pretty special. I don't sit and make anybody work to get that. Ugh. Somebody wants it, they can it's have it. It's pretty special. Anybody can <laughs> yeah, have it. Right. <laughs> I mean, don't make a game out of it for crying out loud. Oh, if you're into me, you love me, give me it. Yeah. If you don't love me, get the F out of the room. No. <laughs> don't, waste don't waste my time. God damn it. Stop with all this crap. It's cheaper to get hookers, actually. You're damn right. That's Is that what you yeah. finally did? <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> That's what you do? You go to a hooker, you don't even bother with these yeah, regular Yeah, they're in, they're out. You know? Right. Yeah. No time wasted. No mental headspace. <laughs> right. You pay for it whatever way you look at it. You damn boy, you're as I bitter as I am. Bitter as hell, isn't God it? God damn, I love you. Jeez, <laughs> Come we'll here. Give this to you. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. No, in other words, uh -uh. this is so true, especially oh. guys out there. A young guy just starting out, trying to meet a girl. You go out to a club or whatever, and she says she likes you. She likes you, and then it's months of asking her for this vagina, and it's like, well for crying out loud and you're jumping through hoops you're buying roses you're doing whatever you got to do to get this vagina and then you're still begging and begging and she likes you and you're begging at what point do you say to yourself i'm a jerk i'm a stupid ass jerk and that's what this song is about that's what this song he is really about for right. holy yeah. mackerel really i understand. relate to the song yeah. i mean an ugly guy with no money might as well cut off his penis am i right i mean you might as well or go to a hooker as you say you're absolutely right god bless you steve there's another song on that called uh don't give me another song. No, 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 no. I'll go it's off like on he's that. Got another no, this song for you. It's, called, it's called Nasty Ho. Now, this is about a whore? It's, this is about yeah. some whore you had sex with. A nasty I didn't know ho. she was a whore. You, she never told you. Until the end. And she asked you for money. And then yeah. you had to pay, and you, you got pissed again. <laughs> this is a great song. Now, you met, you met her in a bar, <laughs> and you were, I assume, right? Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> right. And she looked hot. Yeah. And you were excited by her. Yeah. And you thought that she wanted to have sex with you. Yeah. Right. And you just said, hey, okay, so what'd you do? You take her to your place or yeah. you went to your house? From my house. And, He's um, feeling like, hey, I'm really hot. Yeah. And you know what? First, and maybe she doesn't even know who I am, that I'm famous and stuff. She just likes me for no, me. No, she did. I quickly told her. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right away. You're yeah, right. And then you had the sex with her. And then she, and she still wanted money. And, and, then, and then she, no, she didn't mention money before the sex. Right. And then she said to you, she look. She was slick. Yeah. And then she uh, asked me for some dough. How much? 300. 300 bucks? Yeah. And what'd you say to her? I said, okay. 
Really? <laughs> and you gave her the money? Yeah. But you were, you were I hurt? I was kind of turned on. No, I was kind of turned on that she asked me for money. Interesting. Wow. Really? Yeah, yeah, you're a real man. See why life experience is so important? So you can write about it. So you can write about it. Robin, ask Steve for some money. He'll write a song about you. Yeah, I think I want to turn him on. Give me a thousand. Yeah. Did you play the uh, music for the rest of Guns N' Roses? Did they hear it? Yeah, actually. The, Are they upset that you? Slash, of course, came so, played with us. They came. Uh, oh, okay, good. All right. And yeah, they're, they're so everybody's behind. cool about it. Yeah. All right. Now, what if this album it's all takes real off? It's copacetic. It is. Know? If it takes off, I mean, that's kind of a quality problem. Right. Yeah. You, know? you wouldn't mind. Yeah. I wrote a song once on life, based on life experience. It never went anywhere. It was called um, "Play with Yourself and Then Go to Bed Early," because <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much my that's experience. What I did last night. Yeah, yeah, you and me both. You should write a song about it. I would buy it. He doesn't write about that. No, <laughs> that's on the next album. Yeah, nobody wants to hear about that. Anyway, uh, Steve and Duff, I want to thank you. I'm glad you guys got together. The group is called Neurotic Outsiders. Duff, it's uh, really interesting meeting you, really, for the first time. You know, even though I've met you before, I mean, it's it's a whole new it's a whole new you. Oh man, I see people. People who I guess I've known for a long time. Yeah. But I, I have to say, oh, okay. Well, Are there nice. people that you've gone up to and said, nice to meet you, and you said, hey, you've known me for years? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Steve, I bet you hate a lot of people, right? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I don't think Steve likes anybody. Steve, who do you hate? Seriously, <laughs> give me a list of like five people that you just hate, that you dis that disgust you. Um, oh, Bill Clinton. <laughs> President Bill Clinton. Yeah. Any big rock stars? Um... Hootie and the Blowfish. Hootie and the Hootie Blowfish. And the blowfish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got any more? Off the top of my head, I can't think. But <laughs> yeah, me neither. Definitely, Ringo. Definitely them guys. What about Lady Di? Yeah, she's a whore. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. Oh. I hate her too. Oh. That bitch knew she's what she's getting. A lot of bread. She's getting more than three hundred bucks. So oh, please. That's right. Okay, yeah. She put out. Yep. <laughs> uh, I bet you that song is about her. Yeah. That's right. That's she put person. out. You hate Mother Teresa? I don't, I don't, who's that? <laughs> All right, good. I like that. All right, anyway, you guys, good luck with the Neurotic Outsiders. The band sounds great, and we'll uh, we'll take a break, and then um, I'll get back to doing my regular dopey right show. On, All right, man. Good seeing right. you. Thanks, Howard. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. What would you like to do with the answering machine message that Gary has? Ah, uh, man, it kind of reminds me. Oh, man, it was good. I, I, I've let Howard and Gary hang on to it, man. <laughs> Just to remind me of where I don't want to be. Right. That's right. That's I mean, right. Man, that doesn't even sound like me. What were you thinking when you called that day? Yeah. Well, I thought, I think Howard had called and left Gary's number. Howard was going to take me and slash boot shopping. Right, right, I remember that. Right? And, uh, I don't know, man. This is like around the time slash and I was thinking of moving to New York, which would have been like oh, death. Right. So uh, just call him back and said, hey, you know, sorry I can't make it or something. But I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I mean, I don't specifically.